I'm gonna show you every function in the loop tool add-on. We're also not gonna waste time with an intro today. If you haven't already activated the add-on, just go to edit preferences, go to the add-on section, just type in loop tools and activate the add-on right here. Now the bridge tool can be used to make a bridge between two sets of faces. If we select four faces on one cube and four faces on the other cube, and we go to W loop tools and we bridge them, Blender is going to create a perfect bridge between those two sets of faces. We can adjust the number of segments on this bridge. We can twist it as much as we want, and we can also adjust the strength and the shape of this bridge. You just have to make sure that you have the same number of vertices on both sides of the bridge. The circle tool is going to reshape any geometry that you have into a circle. You have an influence slider down here in this little circle menu, and you can use this to control how much this tool is going to affect the shape of the object. You can also change the rotation of the circle, and you can also adjust the radius after you complete the operation. This tool can be really useful when you're trying to cut a circular hole in an object and you want to keep the topology clean. The curve tool is going to turn an edge loop into a nice smooth curve. And this is how it works. If we lift up two vertices on this edge loop on the side of this cube and we apply the curve loop tool on them, the whole edge loop on this side is going to turn into a nice smooth curve. Imagine if you have a tension rod and it's running exactly through these two points and it starts at the beginning of the edge loop and it ends at the end of the edge loop. And this can be really useful for defining curved surfaces. If you want to make the top part of this cube look like the part of a circle or a bent surface, you can easily create that by just pulling out two vertices to define the curve. The flatten function is pretty self-explanatory, it's just going to turn a selected surface into a flat surface. Now it's worth pointing out that you can adjust the orientation of this flat surface and you can align it with your view, and you can also control the amount of influence. After you flatten a surface, you can just use Alt-S to move it inwards or outwards. The G-Stretch tool is going to turn any curved or bent edge loop into a straight line. This can be really useful if you're trying to clean up your topology a little bit and make things a bit more organized on your model. But you can also use it to cut a straight line through a bent surface like a sphere. And you can also adjust the influence slider to control how much the edge loop is going to be straightened out. The loft tool is going to work a lot like a bridge tool where we can select two equal surfaces and make a bridge between them. What makes the loft tool a lot more powerful though is that you can use multiple loops to create bridges between them at the same time. If you select a bunch of loops that go in a circle that would together form a tunnel and you apply the loft tool, you can just check the loop button right here and it's going to complete a full circle. And once again, you can also control things like the number of segments, you can control the strength, or you can also twist the bridges. The relax tool is going to take a bunch of really sharp edges and vertices. It's, it's going to make them a little bit more smooth. It's almost as if you're applying a subdivision surface modifier or as if you're kind of melting the geometry. And this can be really useful in organic models because it can make things flow a little bit more smoothly. And we can use this if we want to make some angles and surfaces a little bit more round and smooth. And finally, the space tool is going to take all the edges in an edge loop and it's going to give them the exact same length. And again, this is pretty useful when you're trying to clean up topology and make things a little bit more organized. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.